So you got a thousand dollars. Where are you gonna put it? Well, let's pick out five coins, eh? So hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are new, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a like and comment, it does help. So I hope you're well. Now, obviously I've done a social experiment. Five coins to this, do well, right? So we're gonna do something a little bit different. Five coins, you've got a thousand dollars, where would you put it? Well, I'm gonna give you my perspective on the market and how I would do things in this situation. A very, very common question in my emails, in my Twitter DMs, etc., even Telegram. How much do I put in a market? What should I do it? I've only got X amount, etc., etc. Now, we'll talk about a few different variations. So, for me, I go on the term of quantity of quality. So, what that means is I buy a decent chunk of something that's good. Now, if you've only got a thousand dollars, you want to try and either put that into three coins or five coins, essentially. You don't want to go. Don't be that person that puts in $50 in about 12 million coins because it does my editing, right? You've got to remember fees, liquidations, all kinds of stuff when you are selling, especially if you're on the Ethereum network. So you've got to be careful with certain things that you do and do not buy. So just be careful. Right, so you need a ratio and split it up. Now, very, very simply, you can split this up into little 20% chunks, essentially, if you, got, if you want to buy five. Depends on you, though. You know, you may want to go 50-50 on two coins. You may want to buy maybe three coins and split it up as thirds. Now, remember, fees are a killer, especially when you start considering the fact that one of these coins that I'm potentially mentioning here is only available on Uniswap at the moment. But it doesn't matter because you can buy it at certain times. So it's not too bad. But let's talk about it. So we're going to do five coins, right? Yes, I may well mention loads of coins on this video, so stick around. I may well give you more insight. But if we're doing that, five coins equal basically 20 percent of whatever the bags now it doesn't have to be the variable amounts it doesn't really matter but as long as you have got five coins distributed into what you can afford or what you fancy it helps right so you gotta remember that overall it makes much more sense but as i say quantity of quality is better right another thing i need to go over over is obviously valuations market capitalization a lot of people ask me this question oh why can't cardano go to two thousand dollars you say you're going to look a bit silly when you start mentioning those things because somewhat it is impossible not so much impossible that it's never ever going to happen we don't know what's going to happen in the world right i'm talking fast sorry but what i'm saying is you only have a certain amount of token room to play with what i mean is far-fetched valuations of a company asset value i.e the market capitalization is a price times by how many is in circulating supply so when we look at cardano we've got 32 billion tokens in in circulation right now give or take it's currently one dollar 19 which gives us a valuation of 38 billion dollars two thousand dollars per cardano at that level is silly it's trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of money there it's not even going to yeah come on just yeah right so you gotta be realistic right so when we start talking about price predictions and multiples of making your money work for you well you want to look a bit further down than what the top is so in this video we're not going to go for the higher cap coins apart from one is kind of high cap ish it's over a billion in but it could have multiple so what we're looking for here to structure some sort of portfolio is as I say, not financial advice, more educational, you need to find something that has a potential to grow your $1,000. Not just stick it in Bitcoin and hope for the best and, oh, it's gonna to go to whatever. Well, unfortunately, even if Bitcoin goes to $1,000 from here, that is only what, an 80% gain. So your 80% on top of your $1,000 is somewhat stressful. It will probably happen at some point in the future, but technically, you're going to make more if you look further down. Okay, simple as that, right? So the first one we're going to look at is SwissBorg. You're probably asking why. Well, exchange tokens do very, very well. Okay, bull markets, they do well. This has also DeFi. And if you were to buy the token, you can earn a interest on it. So you can hold it on their application and earn interest. So a bit of passive income in your portfolio is a good place to start. Now, that being said, it's relatively under the radar still. It's not on many exchanges. You can only buy it on the app. But there is going to be Bitcoin staking coming up very, very soon, like BlockFi, like Celsius, so you can earn on your Bitcoin. That may well make the token price move up a bit. There's also been a burn today as well. So it's 1.1 billion. This is the biggest cap coin featured on this video. 
And I think that when you look at the fact of how high Binance is and what Voyager has done recently, we may well see the same sort of influx of token usage on this platform, which would be a good place to start. So in terms of this, that is, in my opinion, helpful. The next one to feature is obviously this, right? NFTs. Now you're probably thinking, wow, it's $50 per coin. I won't get many coins for that with my money. Well, you got to look at the market cap. Only 300 um, million market cap. Yes, it's had a monstrous run, but it's very, very new. And it's also NFTs. NFTs are hyped up quite now. Again, remember certain things. And at the end of the video, I will talk about profits briefly, but you got to follow where the money is going. And at the end of the day, if you can get a good retracement on, a, on something that's hot, and something that is getting a lot of interest, you may well find in a bull market, well, that's probably the safest thing to do, especially if you've got money that you can afford to lose and you're willing to risk testing these theories out. At the end of the day, NFTs are going through a nice little hype cycle. They're doing very, very well. And ultimately, this is probably one of the more obvious picks because it's relatively new. It's kind of somewhat undervalued compared to some of the ones out there at the moment. But at the end of the day, NFTs don't look like they're going to go anywhere very, anytime soon at the end of the day. The next one is Phoenix Flow. It's a weird name, I know. But we're talking again here about lower cap coins that have some genuine use case and purpose in the market. Now, if you don't know what this is, just a brief little outline. It is the world's first hybrid liquidity aggregator. Basically a trading platform, right? So when you think about this in terms of hybrid, hybrid would indicate it does multiple things. As you can see here, DeFi protocol. Trading, zero fees, you got dual chain interoperability. So across the Tron network and Ethereum blockchain, staking liquidity mining, you got everything, right? So it's interesting. Now, I know the website's a bit ugly, but the fundamentals are, we know, well, I suppose, certainly I know, that tokens that are, performing and using a platform for trading and liquidity providing do well due to utility, right? It's kind of in the word. When you start looking at the token, there's only on certain exchanges as you can kind of allude to here. So it's only on a few. So again, Uniswap, not great, Gate, not perfect, but there's definitely room to grow. But when you start looking at the fact of DeFi access, liquidity mining and staking, well, the token's got some usage that will demand use from people which will obviously grow the token value that Metcalf's law that we always talk about so that's kind of important in terms of where to go 66 million market cap that could well indicate a potential flow in the up cycle of any token essentially when people are using it so when we start thinking well maybe put a little bit of money to work in here wouldn't be a bad place to be now the next one moving on to a different industry is Something that's doing pretty well recently, which is doing really well, and it's Traveller, right? Why? There's a global pandemic. People want to go on holiday. People have got lots of crypto profits. Well, guess what you can do with this bad boy? You can go on your holiday with spending your cryptocurrency. Token utility is all around the exchange of the tokens, which is kind of important. And you can see here, and the obvious here, good reviews, as you can kind of allude to. But... It's just the fact that you can use a token. So if you go to the AVA token here, just to give you an insight, they have it all for their loyalty. They have smart bonuses, smart discounts, use of payments, all kinds of stuff like that. So you can get all this kind of information thrown at you for just using the token. Now there's token burn, so there's all kinds of good stuff in terms of fee distribution. That's kind of important, but not so much that. It's more the fact that the world's kind of trapped at the moment. There's a lot of places where you can't go on holiday. So maybe... Something to do with traveling and events might be a good thing. There's other coins like a veto, the sharing as well, which could be of interest to you. When you think, well, where are people going to use and put their crypto profits? Well, maybe, um, yeah, who knows? The last one, on Federal Reserve, right? Mentioned it a few times on my Twitter. Make sure you do follow me. I like this a lot. I do own some of this. This is the one in, in, in this video that I do own quite a good chunk of. Ultimately, it's business to business, B2B, whatever, software for DeFi protocols using traditional systems, right? We know how much liquidity is provided through big entities. This will basically supply it, right? Simple as that. So we're talking here only on Uniswap right now. Product is going through alpha testing. Mainnet isn't here yet. And most importantly, there's no tier one exchanges yet. So there may well be something on the off in here. Now, fully diluted 
Market cap is currently 138 uh, million, as you can kind of allude to here, but room to grow in my opinion when you look at how liquidity is provided and DeFi is going to do very, very well with this. So that's some, so that's five that I would instantly, if push come to shove and everything went tits up and I had $1,000 right now, they would be the five that I would invest in. Why? Because it's quite diverse. You've got DeFi, you've got obviously earning capabilities, you've obviously got the traveling sector and also the exchange side of it as well and obviously NFTs. So that's important to know that it's a little bit diverse, but it depends on your risk profile, right? We're talking here about potentially splitting up your coins. You may want to do three and you may want to go to the higher ends where you're looking at things like of maybe Kasama might be of interest today because of its dip day. You may be looking at the fact of maybe VeChain for supply logistics and supply chain and stuff like that. There's all kinds of different variables to look at and it's all about use case. But for me, I would try and split up into five at least. You've got a bit of diversification and then there's less risk overall. But that is only my opinion, okay? Remember. So in terms of knowledge bombs and helping you out here in terms of giving you that kind of information, for me, the takeaway is quantity of quality. So a lot of less things maybe, but the good things in my opinion. But for me, these five are kind of higher-ish risk because they are relatively new but also demand of people are probably going to be the most important thing. In a bull market, you may well find that all of these five may do very, very well due to the fact of what they are. NFTs, for example, trading platforms, for example, buying crypto, for example, the travel ban is left, lifted and liquidity provided through DeFi is kind of important. So, au revoir. Happy April Fool's Day. I hope you're well.